So today we're going to be checking out a fragrance from Mercedes-Benz. This one is Mercedes-Benz Club Blue. So this is not a new, new release. This one did actually come out in 2018, so it has been out for a few years now. But it's not one that I've seen covered a whole lot, and I figured, well, might as well go ahead and grab it and pick it up and share my thoughts with you guys. I did get this one on fragrance, so you can get it for like under $30 over there. So we'll talk about today. I'm gonna to tell you how it smells, how it performs, what you can wear, and ultimately if I think this one is worth picking up. So let's go and jump right into how this fragrance smells. When you first spray this one on, what you'll get right in the opening is this nice blast of citrus, more specifically orange. That orange comes through, giving it a nice brightness, a little bit of a tart kick, and immediately following that, gets a little bit creamy and the creaminess is also coming from that mandarin orange usually orange can come across in kind of a creamy way especially when mixing with some other types of notes and it definitely comes across that way here if you look at some of the other notes the other top note listed there's only two of them that they give us is cardamom and to be honest with you up top i don't really get any cardamom for me, it's all about that nice creamy orange in the opening. Along with that orange, I get a little bit of musk and a little bit of lavender and a woodiness. And this really has a pretty generic base or a pretty, you know, just kind of typical base of musk, woods, and that lavender as well. I mean, that's just something that is in almost every fragrance, really, just kind of musk and woods. And that's what you get here. So it's kind of a creamy with a little bit of a woodiness, a little bit of a lavender, fresh, clean type of smell. And that's really the extent of what I get in the opening and that kind of follows into the mid and dry down as well. Bit of a ginger kick in there, giving it a little bit of a slightly kind of fresh spiciness as well, uh, but not a whole lot. It's not a main player here. And really, I don't pick up anything that resembles any sort of cardamom until I get maybe into the mid slash dry down. I get a little bit of a spice that could also be coming from the ginger. And I think maybe just a touch of cardamom as well, but really, I don't get a whole lot of it here. For me, I can basically sum this fragrance up with three notes orange, musk, and woods. That's pretty, pretty simple here. Very clean, very fresh, very vibrant and uplifting, but also at the same time, pretty standard. Nothing too crazy or new here. And this is also one where it's best to try on your skin. Trying this one on paper, you don't necessarily get to quite pick out everything. It's nice to be able to let this one develop on your skin. So if this is one where you do want to test for yourself, make sure you give it a spray on your skin. And upon me first spraying this one on and testing it for a while, I realized why this one isn't covered all that much. And really it's because it's not too crazy interesting. It's a clean, fresh scent like you would expect from the blue color bottle and the fact that it's called Mercedes-Benz Club Blue. That makes a lot of sense here. But other than that, I mean, you know, you're not really getting anything that's too crazy unique. The Mercedes-Benz Club line is really good. Now do keep in mind, this is a 50 mil bottle and I don't know if the 100 mil is like this or not, but this one does have a cap. If you look at some of the other club fragrances, and I will grab one real quick, they don't have a cap. So I'll go ahead and pop in here and show you these real quick. Here is Club Black, one of my absolute favorite Mercedes-Benz fragrances. This one is discontinued. It is getting hard to find. I will leave it linked down below to a fragrance discount or fragrance X. They still do carry this one and it's worth picking up. If you like vanilla and benzoin and a smokiness, you have to try this one. It's a complete stunner coming from Mercedes-Benz. It is incredible, but kind of off topic here. This one, no cap. The atomizer is right there and the button is right there. So you just push down right here and it sprays out. And here is Club Fresh by Mercedes-Benz. The name is on the back. Same deal, button, atomizer. So these do not have caps. These are 100 mil bottles. This one here does have a cap and also the whole bottle down here is glass and exposed. Whereas with these, you know, it's got this plastic all around it. You could see the bottle and the juice level right inside that little window there. So there is a differentiation and bottle. Again, I don't know if they just did that here for Club Blue and because it's a 50 mil or if the 100 mils have that as well, I don't know. But I wanted to make you aware of that just as kind of a little extra here. I don't normally go over presentation, but I thought it was interesting. I actually don't mind this style of bottle here with the cap. I think it does the job pretty well. So I wish I had a bit more to say about the scent, but I really don't. Orange, musk, and woods is the extent of what I get. It's clean, it's fresh, it's pleasant, it smells nice, but it's not a mind blower. 
in terms of when you can wear this fragrance, it's definitely really good for daytime casual wear. So Mercedes-Benz Club Blue, uh, you know, obviously blue kind of representing this fresh kind of summery type of vibe, and that's what you get from this one. It smells really nice. I love orange and fragrances. That creamy orange kick is to die for. That's just something that I've always liked. It kind of reminds me of my childhood. I would like to have oftentimes orange uh, with ice cream, vanilla ice cream, you know, orange soda poured over vanilla ice cream for like a float, that sort of thing. Always tasted really good. That's kind of what this reminds me of. Just this nice creamy orange. If you get it from here, it smells great. Great for daytime, great for casual. That's really about it. Performance on my skin isn't really all that great. Longevity, about four to five hours on my skin. So nothing crazy good here. It is a cheapy on discounters, not the end of the world for being you know, well under $30 but still not a great performer. Projection is also pretty mellow as well. Uh, not anything that's going to be projecting super hard and getting a lot of people's attention. So really performance here is just kind of okay. It's just so-so kind of below average and that's just kind of what you would expect from the scent. Quality is solid, especially for the price. These Mercedes-Benz fragrances are really good quality for the money. This one here is no exception. Do I think that they have some other ones that are better quality? Yeah, 100%. Uh, this one maybe lacks a little bit to me. I feel like this was just kind of a rushed flanker. Remember, it did come out in 2018. It's not new, and it just didn't get a whole lot of cover. I don't know. I don't think they really put too much thought into this one here. It's okay, it smells nice, and sometimes that's all people want, just smell clean and nice. For us fragrance enthusiasts, this doesn't really bring too much to the table. Now, if you were looking for a fresh fragrance from Mercedes-Benz and you wanted to stay within this club line, I would go with Club Fresh here over Club Blue. This one's actually pretty nice. I do like this one significantly more than Club Blue. Great for spring, great for summer. It's got a bit of a unique twist on a freshie as well, a nice citrus one with a bit of a kind of warm depth in there as well. Smells really nice. So again, my choice between the two, I would choose Club Fresh. So to go ahead and start to wrap this one up, my final thoughts on Mercedes-Benz Club Blue. It's nice, it's pleasant, it's not my favorite though. And if you are getting into Mercedes-Benz fragrances and you try this one and you're let down, don't let that project onto the rest of the house. Give some others a try. You will find that quite a few of them are really, really good. Something like Mercedes-Benz Club Black will blow your mind if you're into sweeter vanilla, smoky benzoin scents. Give that one a shot. Again, I will link that one down below. I'll also link this one. I'll also link Club Fresh. Give those a shot. They're all available for really good prices on discounters. Club Black, the price is going up because, again, it is discontinued. It is in demand. Honestly, you're not probably going to get a better deal than what it's sitting at now on Fragrance X. You know, it's just going to keep going up from there. So if you want one, pick one up. It's an amazing scent. This one here, I would choose something else from the line if you're looking for a freshie. For a lot of people that aren't in the community and collecting, this is all they would need. But if you are looking for something better and just different for summertime, I would look elsewhere. So guys, that's going to do it for me. That's my thoughts on Mercedes-Benz Club Blue. Hopefully you like this video. Let me know down below what you think of this one. And remember, I will link to all these fragrances down below as well. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.